It does look a little bit like dirty dishwater. Why is it so chewy? No, I'm not eating that. Today I'm reviewing Britain's dirtiest takeaways. As determined by the government's Food Standards Agency, who give out hygiene scores between 0 and 5, the dirtier the place, the lower the score. And today I'll only be eating at places rated below the satisfactory level of 3, gradually getting more filthy. Fortunately for me, my city has several such places. Okay, so the first place I'm going to be ordering from is a place called Viet Bistro. It's Vietnamese food. Slightly confession. I have been on a date at this place. She decides on it, not me. I didn't pick the place. Think. The hygiene level is two out of five, so not great. The government's saying improvement necessary. When the government's saying that about your place, do you know what I mean? That's not good. My point is, this place is supposedly dirty. Let's find out. Right, here we go. Well, it feels nice and warm anyway, so that's that's something. It's been cooked. Basically, what I ordered was spring rolls and pho. They're the spring rolls, and that I assume is this sort of pho. Usually, it comes together mentally, knowing that this is from a two out of five hygiene takeaway. It's getting to me, do you know what I mean? Basically, for those who don't know what pho is, I'm under the impression that it's a traditional Vietnamese noodle soup. Wow. Okay. This is the state of play. Not the most appetizing, gotta admit, but that is sort of pho for you. This may not be how you're supposed to do this. I don't know. And I'm really out of room in the bowl. There's so much. There's so much pho. It's over -phoed. And then you're supposed to add this, I think. I don't pho. Yeah, I don't like that. Right, okay, let's just give it a little bit of a taste. Oh, yeah, it's meaty liquid. This is what it currently looks like. The main ingredient isn't even in there yet. I mean, to be honest, pho itself isn't the most appetising of foods. It does look a little bit like dirty dishwater. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get to work on these spring rolls, which do, in all fairness, look all right. Some stale cucumber there, part of my tenor day. Wow, these spring rolls are crispy. They almost look like deep fat fried. They look very different to usual. Let's see what they taste like. They're damn crispy, Jesus. A little bit cold, don't exactly feel particularly fresh. And they're a bit hotter, they taste all right. But look, it's food, it's edible, as far as I know. Okay, onto the pho, it's got some duck, got some noodles. There's no nice way of slurping up noodles, let's face it. As far as pho goes, on the pho scale, that's all right, you know? Overall, out of 10, I feel like a 7.1's fair. On to the next one. Okay, the next place we're gonna go is Route 66. This place has the same hiding score, two out of five. It's basically like a burger, pizza kind of place. Quite busy here. Don't know whether they're aware of the hygiene rating here or not. Let's see what it tastes like. Right, so this is what we've got, 7.99. You got a burger, some chips, and a water. Anyway, let's tuck in. The burger's a bit interesting. Plenty of cheese in there. The mincemeat looks um, cobbled together. A little bit on the greasier side. This is gonna be messy. Oh my word. It's an expensive McDonald's burger. It's quite a sweaty burger. I mean, look at it. After three bites, it's in one hell of a state already. Has to be the most awkward burger to eat I've ever, ever seen. It's all just falling apart. Look, this is proper post-night out food, is this? Put it this way, I'm not surprised the hygiene rating is two out of five. I feel the sweat coming off it. Yeah, that's enough of that. Out of 10, it's a 6.9. Well, that place was certainly interesting. Uh, for 7.99, I'm not sure it's buying for money, to be honest with you. The burger looked crushed. I mean, if you told me someone stepped on it in the kitchen, I would have believed you. The next place I'm reviewing is Maxi's Rotisserie. Now, this place was again given a two out of five hygiene score and apparently was storing food Food in dirty tubs. I'll bought myself some food from there, see if I survive. Right, okay, so let's see the situation here. Roast duck and rice. Is it £10 worth? I don't know. That duck is really nice. That's much better than the uh, the first duck that I had, the Vietnamese duck. It's really got a gnaw on the bones. No idea where it's been stored, but it tastes good. No obvious signs of cobwebs. Sorry to the vegetarians out there. What I should say is I feel sorry for the vegetarians out there. Look what you're missing out on. Mm. Really, really good genius. That bone. I don't know what it was. That is really nice. Whatever it's coated in, that is bloody brilliant. I'm starting to feel like these hygiene scores don't necessarily translate into worse food, in terms of taste anyway. Aside from the burger place, that was a little bit suspect. I couldn't care less if that's had cockroaches crawl on it, ants, bees, wasps, feces. It tastes good. Heaven really is a place on earth. <coughs> Nearly choked on it. I nearly was in heaven then. I could be eating anything here. I don't know if it's duck at this point, I've no idea. It could be a tune on its ball sack for all I know, I don't know. It's a tasty ball sack. Yeah, okay, I want more sauce. I want, I'm a saucy bloke, what can I say? But I do want more sauce. I mean, it's dry. But the duck itself, bloody brilliant. If you forget about what's happening in the kitchen and how things are being stored, just focus on the taste. Yeah, you haven't cleaned the tubs in decades. Who cares? Who cares you're having a takeaway? Shut up. You're clogging your arteries anyway. Oh, but dust. Oh, dust. 
Oh, what's a bit of dust, a bit of dirt, a bit of grime, a bit of filth? I do need the toilet now. That might just be a coincidence. I don't know, but I'm monitoring the situation closely. Okay, so the next place I'm going to be trying is a place called Easy Bites. Now, this is supposed to have a one out of five hygiene score. Let's see what the situation is. Let's go. The place is closed. It looks like it's been closed for a little bit. It looks vandalised as well, so I'm not quite sure. Perhaps that's a sign that it closed down for good. So, because that place is closed, we're going to have to move on to the next place now, uh, which is a place called Tasty Toasty. I hope it is tasty. Uh, certainly doesn't have a very high hygiene score. One out of five, not particularly impressive. The penultimate place now though, is the hygiene an issue? Does it affect the food? Let's find out. Okay, so Tasty Toasty was open, good news. This is the first place that I've been to so far where it's kind of understandable how they might have the hygiene rating that they had. A couple of cobwebs attached to like the freezer which have the drinks in and stuff, but let's not judge it before we've tried the food. The food might be nice. Right, okay, we're back and I have got myself a chicken and pesto panini. And I've also got myself a cheese and bacon toasty, I think. Right, so this is what we're dealing with here. £3.60 right here. One out of five hygiene, this place. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that to myself just before I'm about to eat it. It does kind of feel like someone sat on it. I mean, do you know what? It tastes all right. It is a tasty toasty. Yeah, it's a bit sweaty. You kind of expect that from a toasty with cheese and bacon. Decent thickness on the old bread. Yeah, there's some cobwebs flying around in the kitchen or whatever. But... At the end of the day, it's a toasty. Now for the chicken and pesto panini, which is really sweated through the bag. Look, it's not going to win a Michelin star in terms of its appearance or anything like that, but you get the feeling it might taste quite good. Let's have a look what the chicken looks like. That's the most important thing. Can't see any pink on that. It doesn't exactly feel fresh. Let's have a little taste. Mmm. It's like biting into a flip-flop. That chicken doesn't feel very warm to me. One minute. Here's the thing, I don't know the rules for chicken. If it's already been cooked and then it gets reheated, shouldn't it be hot when it's being reheated? I don't know. Look, the pesto's nice, cheese is good. Like I said, the chicken just, I don't know, doesn't feel particularly fresh, doesn't taste very fresh. Yeah, it's a bit chewy. I've had nicer uh, chicken pesto paninis, believe it or not. It's pretty average, let's face it, but it's not disaster. In fact, that toasty is pretty damn impressive. Overall, I'd actually tell you this place, in terms of its food, tastes better than Route 66. I'm gonna give this 7.4. Let's just hope the chicken was cooked. Guess we'll find out tomorrow. Don't feel great after that, to be honest. It's a bit lethargic. But we've still got one more takeaway to order from, and that is a zero out of five hygiene score. I mean, what, what are they doing in order to get a zero out of five? Is the food on the floor? Okay, some bad news. So the place that I was going to order from originally, I don't think they're still open anymore. Rightly so, by the way. So I have managed to find somewhere a little bit further out of town, a Chinese takeaway, with a zero hygiene score. They are still open, as far as I can tell. I don't think they do deliveries, so I might have to travel there to get a Chinese and then <laughs> bring it back. But that's the sort of commitment I have to this channel, you know. Thank me later, drop a like, subscribe, etc. Right, well we've got a train to catch. Right, I'm here in Morley and I'm not sure any man has traveled this far before to pick up a Chinese. Definitely not a Chinese. The zero out of five on the hygiene race and I could already go up those steps. I've now just got a mile walk to get to the Chinese. What is going to await us here? I mean, zero out of five hygiene. I've got to work out I'm getting back as well because that was the last train I just took. So I'm going to have to get a taxi back. <laughs> All for a Chinese. The things you do, eh? Google Maps is sending me through some interesting cut throughs here. Also saw a dead pigeon, so that's put me off things. I don't think I'm having duck though, so I'm not too bad. We're nearly there. I can smell it. I can smell it. Come on. Somehow I've just walked right past it. I mean, the sign's literally there as well. How have I managed that? Here it is, Britain's finest. Okay, we've got ourselves the Chinese. That's it, we've got it. Now we've got to get it home and see what it tastes like. Uh, it's gonna be about 20 minutes till we get back, so hopefully it doesn't cool down too much. That's great, thank you very much. Cheers, mate. We have got it. Zero out of five hygiene rated Chinese. Right, we're finally back after our adventure. We have got our Chinese. Let's eat it before it gets cold. One of Britain's worst rated takeaways in terms of hygiene. It might taste good. Let's find out. Wow, okay. We've got the prawn toast and what looks like some ribs and spring rolls and stuff. I've had many a Chinese takeaways in my life. I've never had one wrapped in paper before. It's like past the parcel. And inside is just two more containers. One is our rice and the other is chicken. Satay, satay, sa I don't know, I don't usually order this. I shouldn't have ordered chicken really, should I? That's a risky move. Anyway, let's uh, lovingly plonk it all on. Look at that, it looks plastic. It doesn't look real. It's weird because it tastes all right, but it doesn't taste fresh. It's like I'm chewing on a plastic toy. I mean, what do you think the chances are of me getting ill tomorrow? Or tonight? Spring rolls, let's try. I mean, you can't really get spring rolls wrong, can you? 
These are twice of that molten lava. It tastes good though. Prawn toast, always a bit weird. Who's come up with that then? Prawn toast. What's wrong with just normal toast? Why, why are we messing around with prawns? That's just weird. I can taste more of the sesame seeds than I can the prawn. Anyway, let's go on to the main event. And then let's get some of this uh, chicken satay. I think this is supposed to be spicy, isn't it? Not really into spicy food. Why did I order this? Let's just put it all on, for God's sake. Looks appetising, that, doesn't it? Let's have a look at what this chicken's like, then. Can't see any pink. Now let's taste it. Please be safe. A little bit of the chewy aside. Oh, yeah. Bit chewy, that. Why is it so chewy? No, I'm not eating that. Look, the rest of it seems pretty standard stuff. Doesn't look too out of the ordinary for a Chinese takeaway. It is just certain things where you're like, wow, that is a bit unusual. Like these ribs, these plastic looking ribs. Whose ribs are these out of interest? Is it cows? I can't imagine cows having a rib cage. Do you know what? For a takeaway with a zero out of five hygiene score, it's not necessarily reflected in the food. I wouldn't say it's massively different to what you'd usually get at a Chinese. Yeah, the chicken's chewy. God knows why. And it's not like anyone has takeaways for health reasons, is it? Do you know what I mean, it's not like, ooh. Want to get healthy? Get a takeaway. Get a Chinese in, Liz. Out of 10, I'm happy to say that this is a 6.8. Might be a number two, depending on how my ass gets on with it tomorrow. So yeah, maybe hygiene wasn't all it was built up to be. It doesn't seem to affect the quality of the food drastically. And they do say you should let your kids eat dirt, don't they? So um, maybe Chinese takeaways are good for you. That's food for thought. Gotta be honest with you, the situation is bleak. 